Hello everybody, today we are going to make this router open source. This is my home router. It's a Fritzbox 4040. I like it, but I would prefer it if I had more options software wise, and by installing an alternative firmware I can achieve that. OpenVRT is an open source project for embedded operating system based on Linux, primarily used on embedded devices to route network traffic. This firmware adds many possibilities like a network-wide VPN client. First thing we have to do is take a backup of our current configuration, in case anything goes wrong. To do that we need to go to our router config page, go to system, then backup. Insert a password and a download will start. This will be a .export file and will save it somewhere safe just in case we need it in the future. Now we need to install Python. Since the procedure is different depending on your operating system, I will link some guides in the description. After that we'll need to go to the OpenVRT page of our router and download the file under the firmware OpenVRT install entry. We'll need this file in the download folder. I'm now going to use a Mac OS X computer, but the procedure will be really similar between Mac, Windows and Linux. To simplify the procedure, we'll use the Fritz tool script that will make everything really easy. We need to go to the installation guide page, choose our OS and download the script via the command line. As shown, we need both the script and the firmware file in the same download folder. Then we are going to disable our Wi-Fi, disconnect all the devices from the router, connect it only to our computer through one of the yellow ports, change our IP to the one shown in the guide and disconnect the router from the power. We will now start the Python script and it will ask us to press enter after we've modified our IP that we've just done. We will press enter and the timer will start. While it is running we need to reconnect the router to the power and the script will do the rest. The lights on the router will flash and the script will tell us when the flashing is finished. At this point we'll just need to set the IP back to automatic on our computer and we will be done. Now if we go to the router IP we can see that we are now in the OpenVRT config page. So this is it for today, I hope you found this video helpful and I invite you to leave a like and a comment, it really helps me. I'll see you next week, I'm Leo and as usual remember to keep things alive.